Hey kitties, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Sunny X Kitty or whatever. Um, it's Meg or Sunny. I don't mind what you call me, but um, today I will be giving or showing you how I personally make my overlays. And also, I'll show a few overlays I have made for free use. You can that, for mm, that you can use for to use freely. But first, you want to start off with opening the project and then choosing a canvas type. It doesn't really matter how big you want it, but make sure it's transparent because that will help in the long run. Okay, now you have your canvas all loaded. You want to click on the brush icon. Actually, no. Yeah, you want to click on the brush icon. But first, before you do anything, you want to click on a new layer or add a new layer otherwise it will not work so go to layer and then add and there's also a shortcut if you need to now you're free to draw whatever you want it doesn't really matter but I recommend you draw it with a black color because it just looks a lot better as an outline for when you want to recolor it or add bevel or just anything honestly but i'm just drawing those little wavy lines that you see in other thumbnails and yeah you can change the brush type if you want feel free to do that and i'm also showing you how you can draw like different shapes with the brush tool it's honestly pretty brilliant because you, you're honestly able to do anything free-handed without like any help from like Google and stuff like that but whenever you do need help from Google you know you can always just search up PNG emojis to you know recolor for those overlays those certain overlays yeah here's an example of an overlay I did for a calm well not an overlay calm but for an intro calm or an overlay I used for an intro where, yeah, intro com. I had GFX family intro com or commission. And I recolored it using this app. This app is like really good. And it doesn't have any, it doesn't put any viruses on your computer. So it's perfectly safe to use. Here I am going to, over to Google and I'm going to search up just a random emoji PNGs. I'm just going to search for a bow, for example. And what you are looking for is a background that's white, but when you click on it, it's transparent. So like, as you can see, that doesn't have a transparent background. And then that one also doesn't have one. But that one does, so you will just want to copy that right there, and then you want to go back to Photopea and then paste it, and then it should be transparent. If not, then you can always just go to a website to remove the background. But then you can recolor the emoji or the overlay. go into the layer style and then there's all the settings you can change and you can just play around with the settings you can honestly do anything that just looks right or or you can copy my settings for instance but don't really copy my textile and I can give my textile ways my textiles away but that's gonna be for next video but I'm going to add a gradient because honestly I like adding gradients to things, especially like emojis or overlays, if you couldn't see by my past example. So let me just show you how I make these.
recommend for like a, if you want to add a stroke using like a lighter color so it blends in more easier but then you also want to change the contour so it looks like it has like a glossy texture kind of just play around with the settings see what looks good but yeah these are a few tips i have for making overlays so i recommend you add a drop shadow adding an outer glow like a lighter outer glow you can also see your style in the top right corner of the screen and see it as it's changing but honestly i like how it looks so far so i might keep it like this once i get this overlay done or this bow example done i will see you in a second okay but now i i'm just showing you an example but yeah you can do the same exact thing same settings whatever it's all up to you honestly but i recommend you have these settings i have checked because it just makes your overlays pop if you know what i mean so yeah the only tips i have for overlays is make sure the bevel is embossed and make sure the size is three or set to three and just make sure you can add a drop shadow outer glow inner glow a stroke contour a glossy contour is honestly the best to be honest so as you can see i'm just choosing what contour looks best and once you're done with everything you just want to click ok in the top corner otherwise don't click that x because it will not save what you just done but now you want to save it or save the overlays to your computer and i recommend you use the shortcut which is the download little arrow click that and click png yeah that's how you make overlays on photopea i hope this tutorial help you and stick around for some of the overlays I have made but yeah you can also move these overlays around and you can honestly just do anything you want just make sure the little mouse icon is clicked and set the brush and also make sure the layer is selected so you don't move the wrong overlay but with all that being said I hope you enjoy the rest of the video bye guys